Hello my young friends. Welcome to Obsidian Soft. Today I will tell you about Scratch Junior. It is one of the coolest apps that you can install on your iPads or Android tablets. You can make interactive stories, cartoons and even games using Scratch Junior and while doing this you will be learning a very important skill of the modern world that is coding. You will be able to tell your friends and family that you know how to code. That is, you are a programmer. Isn't that exciting? Bring your imagination to life and install Scratch Junior today. I'm going to install it in front of you on an Android tablet. You can ask your parents to help you in installing it if you have an iPad. So let's begin. Tap on Play Store and open it. Search for Scratch Junior. So Scratch and then JR for Junior. And install it. Once it is installed, you can open it directly from Play Store. Or at a later time, you can open it up from your home screen of your tablet. So I just tapped on Scratch Junior and it is asking me for permission to allow Scratch Junior to take pictures and record videos. So allow all of these permissions. So allow it to record audio because you would like to record your voice for your interactive stories and games and allow it to access your photos, media and files. Okay. So allow all three permissions. I'm going to choose home here and here on this screen tap on home. Now right now it is empty because I do not have any projects at this moment. If I want to make a new project I will have to tap on this plus button okay. So when we open Scratch Junior this is what it looks like from inside and we have this white area this is basically our stage on which our characters, our digital characters will perform a play. Okay, that play could be an interactive story or a game. So just like you perform certain roles in your school plays, similarly, you have these roles in Scratch Junior too. Okay, and this is a stage and right now we just have one cat, a digital character on our stage and we can make it jump, walk, sing whatever we want it to do and we will be using these blocks to make it move or jump or sing okay i have these blue blocks and they are about movement okay so the blue blocks are about movement and i just have to snap them together to make this digital character move okay so how about we try to make it move okay so if i bring it down here and i tap on it you can see that my character is moving one step towards the right because this arrow is pointing towards the right. How about we try this one now? So if I tap on it, my cat should go up. You see, it is going up now. Okay, so these are the movement blocks and we can put them together to make a very cool program, an interactive story or a game. And right now I was explaining the blue blocks to you and they are only related to movement. But we have some other blocks too and they are under these categories. So this yellow one, these are the event blocks when something happens, okay? So what is the most important event? This green flag. This green flag means that we are going to start our game or interactive story. Okay. And you can see that we have a green flag here too. So if I put this green flag here and I put some other blocks, snap them together like this. And if I click on the green flag, let's bring my cat a bit down. I can drag it and bring it down like this. Let's press on the green flag and you will see that these steps will be followed. See, did you see that it moved towards the right and then it went up by one step, okay? Programming is all about sequencing, step-by-step -step instructions. Just like when you are getting ready for school, you go to the washroom, you wash your face, you brush your teeth and you get ready for school you come down to the kitchen eat your breakfast so you follow certain steps 
so similarly in coding 2 in making a game or interactive story in scratch junior you have to follow steps and those steps they have to come after the starting point that is the green flag okay so let's look at what these purple blocks mean so these purple or magenta blocks are for changing the look of our digital character so how about we try this one let's see what it does and let's click on the green flag to start a program always remember that the green flag is for starting our program so let's click on the green flag and you can see that it followed the same instructions move towards the right by one step moved up by one step and then it grew bigger okay did you see it becoming bigger okay so this means that this block will make it big okay and what about this block i think it will make it invisible so let's try this one so if i click on the green flag now remember all these steps will be followed again okay okay see it became invisible after following these steps okay let's look at these green blocks okay so the green blocks are for making this pop sound so this will always make a pop sound okay but you can also record your own voice so we will be doing that in some other video and we'll explore the recording thing too but let's look at these orange blocks okay so the orange blocks i find them the coolest because they will make your program or game very interesting because we have this very cool block which looks like something has to be repeated yes and the number 4 means that whatever will come inside here will be repeated four times so how about we remove these blocks we can remove them by just throwing them up like this okay and let's put these blocks the move right and the move up block inside this loop So loop is something that will repeat a certain number of times and we can tell it how many times it will be repeated. So let's try our code now. And this was done four times. We can look at it again. See again the cat started from its original position, okay? And we can change the cat's original position because right now it is somewhere here. So we can change it by bringing it here okay now this will become the cat's starting position so if i click on the green flag it will start from here what about this one okay so this will give a full screen mode to our project to our game or story okay so let's try that and now let's try pressing the green flag you see So we can see our story or game at work in full screen too. Let's get back to our project page where we were making the game or story. So what does this button do? Let's click on it to find out. So we got a grid here, okay? So we can actually calculate and figure out how many steps we want our cat to move, okay? So that is one cool thing too. Let me go back to the view without these lines. So if I tap on it again, those lines will disappear. So that's it for today and I hope you liked this video and learned a bit about scratch junior in the next videos i will be exploring more of scratch junior so see you next time till then have a good day and goodbye my little friends